Hi, my name is Kelly. Hi, I'm Kelly Kortz, and we're from the Management Study Guides content team. In this course, we'll learn about balancing demand and productive capacity in service operations. Let's get started. Let's meet Maria Perez. Maria is the proud owner of Margaritas, a chic chain of restaurants serving sumptuous delicacies from the Mexican cuisine. Margaritas has been a family-owned restaurant and has been booming in business since the last three generations of the Perez family. Ever since its inception, Margaritas has been continuously evolving in terms of its outlook, food menu, quality of food being served, including the market segment that it caters to. Margaritas had a humble beginning as a small diner, but slowly and steadily as it passed under the management of different hands of the Perez family, it grew not only its profits, but also its stature. Though Margarita's management tries its best to serve as many people as possible and fulfill the actual demand that exists, it is in reality unable to do so. People complain of having to book a reservation weeks in advance, and there's no way that a person can ever find a table without a reservation. One of the most common complaints that people have is that many a times, in spite of making a reservation, they have to wait before they actually get seated at a table. Another thing that customers find displeasing is that they have to wait long times to be served. In fact, Margaritas is not able to handle the demand efficiently, and they have to turn down many customers who walk in. Also, many people are disappointed when they know that they're unable to get a reservation and will have to wait weeks for it. It's important that Margaritas should focus on its need for balancing the demand with its productive capacity. This will help them serve as many, if not all, customers who want to experience its hospitality. It is crucial that any service provider should learn to fulfill its demand by upscaling its productive capacity when the need arises. This helps service companies to gain a competitive edge over others in the market as if there is anything that makes a customer move on to your competitor then it is poor and slow service, having to wait in queue, and being disappointed at not getting served. Let us learn more about balancing demand and productive capacity in service operations. Let's review the course objectives. Describe managing demand in service operations. Explain factors affecting day-to-day -day service operations. List causes of variations in demand. Explain patterns of demand. List benefits of managing demand in service operations. Explain the access demand to access capacity continuum. Explain what is meant by productive capacity. Describe the functions of demand management. Explain steps for managing demand in service operations. Explain strategies to manage demand. Explain waiting line or queue management. Describe problems of a waiting line. Explain characteristics of a queue system. Describe role of aggregate planning in managing demand. Describe role of manager in managing demand. Why manage demand? Services may require more than one step to be delivered to the customers. Also, many times, this sequential delivery places a constraint on the service provider's capacity to deliver services to multiple consumers who may arrive at once. Always keep in mind the following questions to make productive capacity planning decisions. What should we do to increase service throughput? How much and when? How many consumers can we serve in a day? How many resources do we have and how much do we need? Aspects of demand management in service operations. The following are various aspects that have to be kept in mind while managing demand in service operations. Output, usage of output, classification of work, customer contact. Let's look at each one of them in detail. Functions of demand management in service operations. Inventory front functions, operations front functions, cycle count process, reporting function. Let's look at each one of them in detail. 
The following are the key strategies that you can use to manage demand in service operations. By taking no action. By reducing demand. By increasing demand. Using reservation system for managing inventory demand. Using formalized queuing system in inventory demand. Let's look at each one of them in detail. About two years ago, the social media was abuzz with the findings of a new sea cave in the country. The caves were full of mineral-laden rocks that glistened in the sunlight, filtering through overhead openings. There is a certain cost that is associated with the customers waiting in line, and there is also a cost associated with adding new counters to reduce service time. Q Management looks at addressing this trade-off and offers solutions to the management. There are different situations given below where waiting lines or queues are used for service. Outpatient at hospital. Bank. ATM. Bus stop. Shipyard. Supermarket. Airport check-in. Inner counter at a movie theater. And library queues. Let's now try to understand the characteristics of the waiting lines in each situation. This is just a demo of the complete course. With every course,